and your question is what question says let z bar denote the complex conjugate of a complex number z basic definition you know and iota is equal to root over minus 1 so basic notations okay in the set of complex number find the number of distinct roots of the equation okay that's important distinct hello everyone I am Pradeep Kumar, Mathematics Faculty at Toppers Academy. So today we'll discuss what a one previous year question from your ITJ Advanced 2022 paper. Okay, and your question is what question says? Let z bar denote the complex conjugate of a complex number z. Basic definition you know, and iota is equal to root over minus one. Sorry, basic notations. Okay, in the set of complex number, find the number of distinct roots of the equation. Okay, that's important. Distinct. Distinct roots of the equation z bar minus z square is equal to iota times z bar plus z square. Okay, so so let's say z is let z is equal to x plus iota y. Okay, very basic method. Okay, z is equal to x plus iota by iota y. Z bar is equal to x minus iota y. Z square is equal to what? Z square is x plus iota y whole square. So when you take the square, you can say x square minus y square. Okay, plus iota times two x y. Got it? So that is your z square. Now you can put the values here in your equation. That is z bar minus z square is equal to iota times z bar plus z square. When you put all the values, you'll get you'll get what z bar that is x minus iota y minus z square. Z square is x square minus y square plus two x y times iota. Okay, that is equal to what iota times z bar that is x minus iota y. Okay, plus that one is z square. Z square is x square minus y square plus two x y iota. Clear, everyone? Now, so just simplify your uh, equation, uh, your terms. You will get what x minus x square plus y square. Okay, and uh, minus. Okay, you can say x minus x square plus y square plus iota times. Minus y minus two x y. Okay, got it. And this thing is what this thing is. You can say x square minus, or you can say x square minus y square plus x. So x square minus y square plus x. This times iota. Okay, got it. And sir, you can say this is iota square minus iota square y. Okay, which is Plus one. Iota square is minus one minus y is plus one. So that is y, and this is iota square plus iota square into two x y. So that is minus two x y. Okay. So this is when you simplify, you will get y minus two x y plus iota times x square minus y square plus x into uh, yeah into iota. Yes. So sir, you have this equation, and you know this is a complex number having. Form as a1 plus iota b1, and this is let's say a2 plus iota b2. And you know complex numbers are equal when real part is equal to the real part, and simultaneously imaginary part is equal to the imaginary part. So you can say, sir, x minus x square plus y square. So from here you can say x minus x square plus y square must be must be y minus 2xy, y minus 2xy. And simultaneously, you can say minus y minus 2xy minus y minus 2xy is equal to what? Is equal to x square minus y square plus x. Okay, that is x square minus y square plus x. X square minus y square plus x. Okay, everyone. Clear? X square minus y square plus x into iota, and when you simplify, you'll get y minus 2xy here. Okay, and this one is here. Clear, everyone. Now, sir, next thing. When you simplify, you can say this is x minus x square plus y square is equal to uh, you can say y minus two x y. Yes, or you can put the value here. You can say from here you can find the value like this. When you multiply, so you can say y plus two x y is equal to y square. Minus x square minus x. Yes. So you can find the value of y square minus x square. Yes. 
find the value y square minus x square is equal to what that is y plus 2xy plus x okay okay now put this value in this equation so when you put in this equation you will get what x plus that is y square minus x square and this is y plus 2xy plus x and that thing is y minus 2xy okay so you can cancel y with y so you'll get what you'll get 2xy plus 2x minus is equal to is equal to minus 2xy so you can say when you shift here you'll get 4xy plus 2x okay so you can say you can take 2x common okay and you'll get 2y plus 1 is equal to 0 clear clear everyone so sir if product of two thing is zero so you have two cases either x is equal to zero either x is equal to zero or y is equal to minus one by two okay either this one is zero or y is equal to minus one by two clear everyone okay so now you can take let's say case number one when x is zero okay let's take case number one when x is zero case one when x is zero now when x is zero so you can do what you can put the value of x is equal to 0 in any of the equation okay let's say put this in this equation when you put in this equation x is 0 so this is 0 0 y square is equal to y and this is 0 yes so you have y square is equal to y so you can say y square minus y is equal to 0 y into y minus 1 is equal to 0 so you you have the value of y as 0 and 1 so it means your complex number is what your z is equal to x plus iota y that is 0 plus iota 0 and second number is what that is 0 plus iota into 1 so your numbers are z is equal to 0 plus iota 0 and you can say iota yes two distinct numbers you have here or second case is what second case is either y is equal to minus half okay y is equal to minus half y is equal to minus half when you put here you'll get what x minus x square plus x minus x square plus 1 by 4 is equal to that is y minus half minus 2x into minus half so when you simplify x minus x square plus 1 by 4 is equal to minus 1 by 2 and that is you can say plus x you can cancel x with x so you can say x square is equal to 1 by 4 plus 1 by 2 which is 3 by 4 so from here you can say x can take two values root 3 by 2 or minus root 3 by 2 okay so your complex number is what z is equal to x that is root 3 by 2 plus iota y that is minus 1 by 2 iota and second number is minus root 3 by 2 minus 1 by 2 iota okay so how many complex number we have in this case two so total distinct root this is distinct with this okay so you can say all are distinct here so total distinct roots are what total number of total number of distinct roots distinct roots how many roots we have four sir so that is your answer yes so final answer for the given question is what you can say here your answer is four got it so correct answer is four okay so i think that's okay for this video in the next video we'll discuss what we'll discuss the next question okay till then everyone bye bye and thank you